most of us can recognize this masterpiece, one of the most famous paintings of the 20th century. Picasso was in Paris when he heard the tragic news that the little town of Guernica had been bombed. Guernica is the heart of Euskadi, the Basque country, made up of four provinces in the north of Spain and three provinces in the south of France. There they speak a language that is as old as their land, with no traces of any other language, nor knowledge of its origins. When Picasso painted Guernica in 1937, he was expressing the horror that he and the world felt for an atrocity unparalleled at the time in human savagery. Guernica was the first of what was to become a long list of martyred cities, including Coventry, Dresden, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I'm John Randolph, an actor by profession, but in 1937, when General Mola ordered the infamous Condor Legion to destroy Guernica, I was playing a different part. As a college student, I was active raising thousands of dollars to send ambulances to the legally elected Republican government of Spain fighting a civil war against overwhelming military might of Franco and his allies, Hitler and Mussolini. Uh, Republican Spain lost, despite the courageous resistance of our people. But the memories of that struggle never left my mind. Whether it was La Pasionaria in Madrid crying out, No pasaran! Or the searing memory of Guernica's destruction. As we continue towards the city, we stopped where the river of Guernica empties into the sea, the Bay of Biscay, the Atlantic Ocean. My father explained to me that on the day of the bombing, the planes came from the sea. General Mola had said that if the Basques did not surrender, he would destroy them completely, not leaving one stone on top of another in Vizcaya. So on April 26, the power of the German Condor Legion was unleashed on Guernica, 20 planes, coming in waves of three from the sea. They followed the railroad tracks along the river to their chosen target, Guernica. In the aftermath of that moment, thousands of Basque children were evacuated to other countries as the fascist armies overran all of Euskadi. Some remained in foreign lands for over 20 years. Some, like my father, never returned. I remember running away from the bombs with my three younger brothers and sisters and my mother holding on tight to us and screaming that we must run fast. My mother held us tight like a hen holds the chicks. She said, my babies, we must go now. I could see the pilot clearly. And then the plane passed over, not harming us. It almost touched our heads. And my mother said, it is a miracle. For most people, that is how I saw them die. I will always wonder why we did not die this way when so many did. Most families were broken up. Many children were evacuated by the Basque government to France, England, Belgium, Mexico, and the Soviet Union. Many of these families were never reunited and the fates of many members are still unknown. In all, over 20,000 Basque children were evacuated before Euskadi was overrun. In the first place, I came to the United States. They brought me to the United States. I was in the Basque Resistance. My group fell into the Franquism. They killed all of us in the cameras. Y yo tuve la suerte de salvarme de, de ese crimen, porque fue un crimen del, del franquismo. Y entonces, pues me trajeron a Nueva York, como hubiesen llevado a, a Buenos Aires. Como hubiesen llevado a Buenos Aires, me quedé en Buenos Aires. Pero el barco venía a Nueva York y me quedé en Nueva York. ¿Viste? Por eso vine a Estados Unidos. Today we are to meet Iñaki, an old friend of my father. He now manages the movie theater here in Guernica. On the day of the attack, he watched the bombing from a hill overlooking the town. This is their first meeting in 35 years. 
I was seven years old when I stood here and witnessed the bombing of Guernica. The planes were coming from over there. I had just gotten out of school in town and was on my way home. I would have stayed in Guernica, but mother was expecting me at home to help with the chores. I ran into a Gadari. These were the soldiers of the young Bass government. He explained to me that the planes were attacking the town. Oh my God, fire in Guernica. Then I heard the sound of the bombs. Another round and the same thing, more bombs. I thought, this one's coming right at me. I didn't realize that the trajectory of the bombing run was towards Guernica. Of course, I thought he was aiming for me because I was here. And that's how I saw the first seven bombs fall. The name of the plane we called El Alcahuete. That was the first part of the bombing. From this position, I saw them all aiming towards Guernica. As we were leaving school, my friend wanted me to stay in Guernica and play with him. Thanks to mother who insisted I come home that day, I am alive. Then the bombing began. Afterwards, I learned that my friend had been killed. The strongest impression I have of the bombings was of the people in the town throwing themselves head first into the river. I will never forget seeing them run and hearing their screams. How can I explain it to you? I, I think it was to massacre the pride of Euskadi. No se pueden comparar con los bombardeos de Dresden o de Tokio. En Dresden destruyen toda la ciudad. Y lo mismo se puede decir de Hiroshima y Nagasaki. Es decir, es, fue, Guernica tiene lo importante que fue la primera ciudad civil destruida desde el aire. At home, we all spoke Basque. Then in a school or in church or anywhere else, we were prohibited from speaking our language. And required to speak Spanish. When a civil court or a public official was encountered, we had to salute. Otherwise, we were punished. No one knows where the Basque language came from. Like Euskalaria, it must exist from centuries back. Euskalaria is Basque country. Euskarri Casco bore no resemblance to Gracias. Euskera is Euskera, nothing more. They are two completely different languages. The roots of Basque are completely unknown. And Spanish comes from Latin, as does Italian, as does French, and as Catalonian does. Euskera was a dialect. We argued that it wasn't. I am barely learning the language, because as a child I had no opportunity to learn. With the new schools, called Icastolas, which are now permitted, it is possible to learn the language and study in Euskera. Our people used to say that we mustn't listen to the Spanish, that we must speak our own language. But if we did, we were punished, so we were afraid. We had our own money, like the US dollar. We had money of Euskadi. When Franco took power, he took away our money and exchanged it for Spanish money. Pero el dinero de Euskadi, cuando Franco entonces terminó, hicieron unos, eh, no sé cómo decirte, entregaron en los bancos el dinero de Euskadi y le dieron el dinero de Franco. To welcome you back, there is going to be a dinner with all your most intimate friends from childhood. Todos los más íntimos de mi casa. De Carri Casco. 
Guernica symbolizes the liberties of Euskadi and our enemy's desire to destroy it. There were many dead, and our suffering was great. They did not achieve their ends, and we have not succumbed. Euskadi is more alive than ever. Guernica is alive. It was three in the morning, we were all in bed, when they rang the doorbell. I asked who it was, but they didn't answer. I asked again, and they didn't answer. So the third time, I said I wouldn't open if they did not say who they were, because I was afraid. Finally, they said they were the civil court, and to open up. I opened the door and there were 12 civil guards. They went straight into my brother's room and that is the strange thing about it. They didn't ask where he was. They surrounded his bed and pointed all their guns and rifles at him. Then they started to search the house and then they took my brother away. It was a trial where all the evidence was hearsay. He said, she said, they said. EDA was born because we could not see a way to regain our liberties by diplomatic means. ETA was a form of armed struggle and it gained strength little by little. So now we find ourselves with this problem unresolved. We have a constitution which for some is a minimum. For some it's sufficient. Well, that is a matter of opinion. Others want complete independence. Many see it as impossible to achieve total independence. They know they are a minority in the central government of Spain. And that is where the duality stems from. And that is why the country is not united. So we are fighting Basques against Basques. And that is very sad. Some factions are more radical than others, and sometimes there are confrontations. It's difficult to say if complete independence is possible. What do you think, Hayone, as a Basque woman, the sister of a prisoner, of the situation in Euskadi? Being from Euskadi, who has been breastfed all this, well, Euskadi is number one for me, and as it is for me, it is for my brother. This day and age, we are talking about democracy, that there is sixth democracy, that things have improved, that ETA must disappear. I lived under Franco, and I feel that life was much better for me under Franco. And it was because my brother was at home with us. The people of Euskadi were more united because of the great oppression of Franco, which made us stand together. We fought for a common cause. serán libres cuando la voluntad política de Europa se organice en comunidades europeas dentro de un sistema político absoluto pero una, una federación de comunidades europeas es decir un paso atrás a la edad media y dos adelante y hacer una Europa política. Y entonces el País Vasco podrá ser libre y unificado. Mientras esto no ocurra, no lo creo. 
they mean that at this moment is not convenient. Either we are a scotty or we are not. Is it so much to ask for independence? To be a country with our own culture? Is that so much to ask? And then you see newscasts of the people oppressed, the Indians in Mexico and Guatemala. And when you hear all that, it's the same thing that's happening in this country. No hay, no hay, hoy no hay, no hay creatividad hoy. Hoy falta la creatividad. Y el mundo intelectual se ha convertido en unas sirvientes del poder. El satisfacer sus propios intereses económicos. Ya, ya es, como ya se puede decir, el intelectual del siglo XXI es una sirvienta del Estado. Yo lo conozco desde que era niño. I have known him since I was a little boy. Since that time I've always admired him. It was because when they would present their dances, it was always something spectacular. Yo puedo atreverme a decir que esto se llenaba de autobuses y de coches y de sí, todo un festival cuando ellos hacían una danza aquí. Uh -huh. Porque era... eso se vivía. Flamenco is stomping on the ground, and ours is in the air, ethereal, elevated. Basque dances are completely different from Spanish ones. Dancing and singing are something deep within us, patriotic and from the earth, and it shows in our dances. There is a great variety of dances in the Basque country. In ancient times, the geography made communication difficult, causing many types of dances to develop. This gives us a richer source to draw from. There is great contrast between the Basque provinces, such as Guipúzcoa, Navarra, Biscay, Subaroa and Lapurri, giving us much to work with. We now want to take it back to its purest form, which is ballet, Basque ballet that is. Ballet owes a lot to the Basque dance, many ballet steps in fact are from Basque dancers. I mean, even today, these steps still retain their original Basque names. In the time of Louis XIV, a great number of Basque dancers would perform for his court, and that is when classical ballet was being developed. People from all over the world don't realize that these are actually Basque steps. It's something to be very proud of. There is a lot of Basque music recorded in other parts of the world, which I have at home. Mucha gente no sabe esa cosa, ¿no? Y, están de, y, y se habla en Japón lo mismo que en cualquier sitio, en Venecia, pero es que padre vasca, so de vasca, y otras cosas son vascas. Así que, que es una cosa que, que debemos estar orgullosos, nuestros vascos. I heard a voice calling me. I got up and ran outside. In the distance I saw a silhouette coming towards me. Behind the silhouette was the red glow of Guernica in flames. The silhouette was my mother calling to me. She'd been looking for me, and someone had told her that they had seen me run up the hill. We hugged each other. It was a very emotional moment. Then, as the town was burning, we came down to try and help the people. The fire engines came from Bilbao, but we soon realized the bombs had destroyed the water mains. The Basques were always blamed for the destruction of Guernica. Franco realized the error he'd committed. He did not want the world to know that he and the Germans had collaborated to commit this atrocity. So we were prohibited to speak of the bombing, because that implied that it had been done by Franco. If a writer from the outside came to Guernica, we could not speak of the bombing, but amongst ourselves we did. Yo siempre he pensado de volver. Porque yo creía que después de que la guerra 
Franco sería, desaparecía del mapa franco, del franquismo. Me equivoqué. En Euskadi, art was flourishing before the war. With the advent of the Spanish Civil War, all this changed. Painters like Arteta went into exile in Mexico. Celay went to London and others. Now there is a resurgence of art in Euskadi. Me apunté la caja de reclutas de New Jersey, de Newark, y a la semana me llamaron al servicio militar. Y entonces hice la guerra sobre el Pacífico y fui licenciado el 3 de diciembre de 1945. Y como no te, entré sin documentación y salí, pues como americano. Aquí está ahora el presidente de Eusko Gorostia, de auténtico del Here is Victor Akiaga. Ex-president of the Front of PNV. Few others could command so many soldiers. He was a fighter. His companion was the commander of arms at El Nietzsche. He was also there for the fighting when three days later we tried to retake Guernica. For our daughters. For the family. For the study. Salud. I remember as a kid he sang magnificently. When I brought my mother my first check for 36,500 pesetas, my mother cried. She cried. She asked, what is this for? I said, it is my pay for playing professional football. My mother was stunned. The next time, I made 60,000 pesetas. She could not believe it. Well, of course, we started to fix our house and make it better. We were in Guernica. It was on a Monday when there were more people. I remember the people running toward Mulica and the people hiding. And the planes, the fighters, would come down low and strafe everybody. Why did they pick a Monday to bomb Guernica? What day could they do the most damage in Guernica? And Monday. Guernica is the agriculture center. And on Monday is market day for all the produce coming in from all the surrounding areas. So, on a Monday, everyone would come to Gornica to buy and sell. It was a working day with everyone plying their trade. Gornica is the political center for Euskadi. There was a high alike and schedule our traditional Basque report. The attack on undefended town that was celebrating a normal market day. Pues sería, sería el mediodía o a la tarde, a las primeras horas de la tarde o algo así. Era hora de mercado. ¿Eh? Hora de mercado, claro, o sea, a la mañana, entre las 10 y las 12 o la 1, por ahí. Aunque sea más, más temprano. No creo más temprano, sea entre las 10 o algo hasta arriba, ¿eh? Pues quizá, quién sabe. Como salía el humo, del fuego, todo esto, luego los, los aviones bajos ametrallando la gente, esto es lo que nosotros veíamos, y algunos aviones llegaron hacia nosotros también, que nos tiraron bombas y trataban de ametrallar, porque claro, estamos en las trincheras, estamos más protegidos. En esos días, nuestra concern fue for a piece of bread to stay alive, no whether we could or could not speak our language. When the situation improved, then we concerned ourselves with questions as to our language, culture and lives. We could not speak our language in public comfortably. 
I have in my family my grandparents who died without speaking any Castilian. My parents barely spoke Castilian and we were forced to speak Castilian because Euskera was forbidden. And today, my youngest daughter is taught at school only in Euskera. We have completely turned around. During the government of Prima de Rivera, Euskadi was a separate government. And it was during the civil war when the invaders entered Spain and took over and said, Euskadi is not free, it's a part of Spain. But before that, Euskadi had its own government, its own money, which signifies an independent country. October 7, 1936, the first past government was established by José Antonio Aguirre. The civil war in Spain had already begun. He realized the implications for the Basque, so he formed his government to organize the front against the invader. With the little resources, support and arms against Franco, who had foreign support from Hitler and Mussolini, the situation for Euskadi was desperate. For us to defend ourselves with the rudimentary arms we had against an army with many arms was an impossible situation. That is when Aguirre had to go into exile in Paris. And if it wasn't because of Franco's lie, Today, Garnica wouldn't be spoken of. Up until recently, we could not speak of the bombing. So, there is a lot of contained anger in us. It's a very sad memory. But if it wasn't for the lies, and we weren't allowed to speak then, what's happening today wouldn't be happening. If everybody then knew the truth, I think that today, we wouldn't be acting so strong. Franco's lie has given us more strength to fight. The past woman, from her pots and pans, with her apron on, has conserved and transmitted her culture and traditions of the home. This is what's important. In este, in este mundo hay solamente dos cosas. En este momento hay dos cosas: los buenos amigos y la familia. Y todo lo demás es basura. and three, and three. These little planes would even get under the trees and strafe the people, because they were tiny, tiny. They would strafe even the fly. Everything they saw, they would aim at. We started running, one this way and one another. I grabbed my little brother, who was 20 months old, and stayed with him the whole time. We saw them fly over us and drop the bombs. We learned that when they made this sort of whistle sound, they were going to drop another bomb. We were all still hiding in the farm when the Budaris came and took us away to a shelter. When we were finally able to go into Guernica, there were people trapped in the ruins, pleading for help. They were alive begging, but we could not help them because of the fire. Dead people here and dead people there. Everyone was dead, even the animals. Then, afterwards, we were called separatists and reds. They said that we were the ones who burned Guernica, that we should all die, that they should kill us. And they didn't want anything to do with us because we were reds and they were Spanish. Si el siglo anterior fue la guerra contra el comunismo, 
el siglo XXI es contra el terrorismo que tiene el mismo significado de destruir todos aquellos movimientos que tratan de liberar y crear ese nuevo mundo de tipo humano y justo. I consider myself a normal human being like everybody else, except I am Basque. I once went to another part of Spain and someone heard us speaking Basque. He immediately said we were ETA. I told him I had never killed anyone. Just because I am Basque, it doesn't make me a killer. You might have killed someone, I haven't. He just walked away. Years old, I would lift whatever was in sight, rocks, sacks, whatever. At the age of 16, I participated in my first competition, and at 24, here I am, the world champ. Ari Hacho Chinese signifies one who lifts rocks. It's a sport as old as the bass. So try to imagine what I'm saying. The bass who travel to other parts of the world to work, to establish themselves there, practice this sport. But the bass are the only ones who do. It's not known to be practiced by anyone else in the world. He has lifted 60 times. He needs to make 15 more in two minutes. Basques are strong. We will last forever, and with Goros Kadi, we will live on. They always want to hurt us, but they won't be able to. Dentro, sin darnos cuenta, es todo el siglo XX, todo el siglo XX, desde el principio del siglo XXI, tenemos, estamos mal informados. Están mintiendo constantemente. Hay una manipulación total de la prensa y de los medios de comunicación y no hay suficiente cultura para poder entender esa manipulación que antes también se manipulaba no o siempre ha sido manipulado es decir es, hay, tiene, y ahora es una por lo menos tienes más información gustado... aunque esté manipulada tienes más no con lo cual quizás puedas escoger más o... es que me gustaba ser escritor es decir pero novelista novela después de mi experiencia de las dos guerras estas de todo de, la guerra de los 30 años, como llamo yo, ah, pues me he quedado que no veo ninguna salida, es decir, completamente desilusionado. Y siempre ha sido manipulación, porque durante la Primera Guerra Mundial se manipuló. Los ingleses tenían un servicio de información y de manipulación perfectamente organizado. Y el siglo después que los americanos llegaron aquí, más de eso no, que es la publicidad, es lo que va en el mundo hoy, que es manipulación y es misinformación. What I say is that we never see another bombing. I pray to God for this to never happen again. That was horrible. Of course, Guernica today is beautiful, but where is the Guernica that existed before?
Yernika, you are such an event. So much history of the Basques have you heightened to immortality. Danteo, enamored, founded you. And that old inspired bard dreamer, Bessolari, the hymn with his guitar he wrote from the heart. Following his impulses, one general commanded by orders of the Germans our land to be branded. He died old, broken, bitter with pain, though the damage was done. His lie was in vain. Guernica continues standing with nobility and heart. Again the Basque is spoken as centuries apart. Erskott is always green, blooms from the soul. Stone houses on the mountains, millenniums old. Today is half a century of such mournful recollection that destroyed our land with courage such as ours. Our language, culture, and home will maintain historical tradition and continue standing stone on top of stone. Casaneta, gero, 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 hasta el casaneta, gero, gero, bai. Oh, pello, pello, hasta el catu diateta, gine ni sano era. Aril casaneta, gero, gero, gero. Aril Castaneta, Gero, Gero, Bay. Oh, Pello, Pello, Aril Cadia Teta, Gine ni sano era. Yo sé saneta, Gero, 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 Yo sé saneta, Gero, Gero, Bay. Oh, pello, pello, yo si día teta, gine ni sano era. Arguía tu neta, viar, 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 arguía tu neta, gine ni sano era. 